So here's a shrimp tank, fairly new tank that I started. Blue Dream Neocaridina shrimp. That is a big mass of hair algae of some kind. I had uh, heard from Nick Kinzer who said that the most success he had with these shrimp was in a tank overgrown with hair algae. So I, uh, I had some from another tank, transferred it in here. These shrimp are from two or, two or three that I bought, and I've raised them from baby shrimp. And all seem to be going well until I notice something. Here on the filter are tiny relatives of jellyfish. These are hydra. Hi, I'm Bob and this is Sunny's Fish Room. Today I'm going to be telling you about hydra. They resemble plants, but hydra are actually tiny animals only about a quarter inch long. They've been known to science since the 1700s. There are many hydra species. They belong to a group called cnidarians, which also includes jellyfish, sea anemones, and corals. All cnidarians have stinging cells on their tentacles. The stinging cells spear and paralyze their prey, and the tentacles bring it to their mouths. Hydra is named for a mythical, serpent-like creature from the legend of Hercules. The beast had numerous heads. When Hercules killed one head, two grew back in its place. Like their mythical counterparts, Hydra grow new heads in a process called budding. Tiny Hydra grow out of the parent's body and separate from it to form new individuals. This happens fast. They can take over a fish tank in days. And if you break off a piece of Hydra, like when you're trying to remove it, that piece will grow into a new Hydra. Uh, hydra also reproduce conventionally by sperm and eggs. Hydra are made up of supercharged stem cells that never stop regenerating. They don't seem to age. In fact, researchers grew hydra in the lab. After eight years, their cells showed no signs of aging. No one has tried keeping them alive for longer. Of course, they can be killed, but researchers believe that if they're fed and cared for and nothing happens to them, they just might be immortal. They really are incredible animals, but unlike ram's horn snails and duckweed, they won't peacefully coexist with small aquatic animals. Hydra are voracious predators. They will eat all your baby fish and shrimp in just a few days or less. As an aquarium keeper, you have to choose between a garden of delicate, graceful hydra that just might outlive you or your baby fish and baby shrimp. And that's what this video is about. In terms of biological controls, paradise fish, three-spot gouramis, and mollies are all said to eat hydra. The jury is still out on pond snails. Some accounts say they'll eat hydra, some say they won't. Next, there are chemical treatments. My friend and role model, Frank Cowherd, uses goat dewormer, which you can get in an agricultural supply store. The active ingredient is fenbendazole. Frank's method is on the website of the Potomac Valley Aquarium Society. He recommends a half drop of goat dewormer per gallon. If the hydra are still there after three days, you can change 50% of the tank's water and treat again, also with a half drop per gallon. Don't overdose as you might kill the fish. I use Planaria Zero. It comes from Japan and I ordered it on the internet. One gram, that's two doses of the scoop that comes with the package, treats 50 liters of water. 50 liters is a little over 13 gallons. The package says you can give a second full dose from 25 to 48 hours. After that, you can give a half dose after 49 to 72 hours. After the hydra are gone, I'll do 20% water changes two or three days in a row. So here we go. Here is the first scoop. And I'll add another not quite full scoop. You can add this directly into the tank. 
Okay, it's been 24 hours, not quite, after the first dose of Planaria Zero. And here's the filter we looked at yesterday. A lot of the hydra are gone. A few that are remaining have uh, retracted back. not exactly a hundred percent sure of what that means but I have a hunch that it is not good for the Hydra. Forty-eight hours later most of the Hydra are gone. There are two things on the top of the filter I don't know what they are. Maybe they're Hydra, maybe not. This is 48 hours, and we will come back in another 24 hours and see what remains. So it's 72 hours later. I don't see any Hydra on the filter, but farther back uh, in the tank, I see little things on the glass which the macro lens won't read that far away so I'm going to assume their hydra and do one more treatment the, the half treatment as per the instructions here we are again after the third and final treatment a half dose of Planaria Zero. I don't see any signs of Hydra in the tank. The shrimp all seem to be doing well. Hydra are persistent. Even after you successfully treat them, they can come back. I haven't figured out how they do it. It's happened in this fish room several times. Maybe they hitchhike in on plants or in drops of water from a siphon. Maybe the embryos remain dormant until you start feeding heavily, like when you have a big batch of baby fish. I just don't know. It's a good idea to keep some magnifying glasses in the fish room and inspect your tanks every once in a while. You have the best chance of saving your baby fish when you catch a hydra outbreak early. The larger magnifying glasses let you see farther back into the tank. The smaller ones are good for seeing things that are close to the glass. I hope you liked this video. I look forward to your comments and hope you'll subscribe to this channel. Thanks very much for watching.